All right, let's stab some drowners. So I've decided we're going to use the black blood potion and possibly the, uh, what's it called? Petri's filter? Petri's filter, yep. For sign intensity to add to Quinn. Um, well, actually, does that make sense? Shoot. Because if I'm using Quinn, I'm probably not going to take damage, and if I don't take damage, then the black blood will be useless. Of course, I want to avoid taking damage, if at all possible, but I don't know, we'll try it, because even if I don't need it for, even if I don't need the Petri's filter for Quen, it'll also help my Igni, which will be useful against Drowners. So. Killer Whale is still active for now. I've got boosted Quen in addition to anything else going on. Hopefully I won't need the Killer Whale anymore after we get through this. <coughs> and it is now worn off. Where are we? Wait. What? Hold on. Did... Did I just get myself turned around somehow? This is where I went in in the first place, isn't it? Yeah, I've got all the footprints going in here. And what are all those figures I'm hearing? Okay. Oh my gosh, I I guess the game must have loaded me and turned around or something and I assumed I was going that way, but I was actually meaning to go this way. Uh, we have fun here. Well, that's a dead drowner. I wonder what happened to it. Human bones. Unbroken, but the marrow has been sucked out. Need a long, thin tongue for that. Kinky. Can you still use Quen to go through this poison gas, I wonder? Let's find out. <coughs> nope. What if we just full cast it? Nope. <laughs> Not an option. All right, well. There's that. Oh. I see them over there. I guess here we go. There we go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Wrong button. Alright, not so bad. <coughs> oh, 
darn it. Would you get out of here? Alright, well. Could have gone better. Could have gone a lot worse. Please tell me I can just eat one from here. Thank you. Um, I don't know, like, how many things you can have acted at once. Oh, is it only one? It might only be one. Oh, wait, there's another. Another body. Did I just kick a drowner's head? I didn't know you could do that! What fun! Geralt, you probably shouldn't drag the tip of your sword in the water like that. Lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Oh, really? Bruises on his neck. Crushed larynx. Strangled. Is it a water hag? Talking about a long, thin tongue. That all I can figure is that it's either some kind of hag or some kind of vampire. Almost untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Let's get a little bit more food. Just top myself off. Um, I don't think... Drowners just don't do that. G Geralt, I, d I don't think that applies to this one as much as it does to that one. Well, given the environment, I feel like it must be a water hag, right? In which case, the necrophage oil will still work, and the black blood will still be effective, as will the dragon's dream and all that. So yeah, I think we're still pretty set here. Bits of boats, torn sails, lines, sailing decor you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must yeah. be water hags there. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here, unless she coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent. I was right. Look at me. A regular witcher in training. Abaya. The baby low care troll, they had a pernicious reputation. At times, fishermen who chose to cast their nets in its waters would never come home again. Something would drag oarsmen off their longships or knock the ships themselves over. The locals blamed this on sea devils, the Skelligers name for drowners. The truth, however, proved far worse. A water hag had made her lair in the caves beneath the cliffs of Kierag? An old and experienced water hag, with powerful claws able to demolish any attempt to block or parry, and the ability to blind opponents from a distance. Oh, right, that friggin' mud ball. Then strike with lightning quick counterattack. Signs would be needed to best her, Erdin to slow her, and Quinn to protect from her blows. Needed most of all, however, would be a great deal of luck. Oh, that's right, they're vulnerable to freezing as well. Necrophage, yep, Quinn, Igni. So, yeah, maybe you should have that one ready. Start with the Dragon's Dream just to light her up and then cool her down once it wears off. Alright, so... Did, do I need to make something now, or...?
Prepare a potion using Drowner Pheromones and use it to hide your scent. Do I already have Drowner Pheromones? Yep. Cool. Gosh, I've got all these things I need to make. And as I recall, all I'm missing is freaking Cherry Cordial. <laughs> I mean, I think a couple other things too, but I think most of the things I need are made from Cherry Cordial. Grants immunity to damage for a short duration? Bro, I need that. What does upgrading White Honey do? Just give you more charges, maybe? Gain one adrenaline point upon consumption, that'd be nice. Increase maximum vitality, extended duration, heals vitality by an amount equal to current toxicity. Huh. Oh, so like, it increases your max vitality and then also gives you some of that health, rather than just increasing the maximum. In addition, the Witcher's Blood injures and knocks them back when they wound him? Wait, vampires and necrophages start bleeding when near the Witcher. Ah, okay, so that's the additional effect. They start bleeding when near. That's neat. I'm only missing one thing for that. Alright, so what are the things... I, I know I shouldn't be doing this now, I'm sorry, but I haven't looked at this screen for a while. So we need a Rebus. Quiberth. Vermilion. Vitriol. I've got plenty of that. Brionia. Oh, that's just an ingredient. I could buy that one. And vermilion. Quest? Oh, it's still that short lure. Rebirth. Oh, I could make this. Oh, I could make this. Oh, but I need the white gull. I need the white gull both for the substance and then again for the potion. Shoot. This. Okay, so a couple of these I can actually make. Oh, and these don't actually need the white gold. Or the the cherry cordial. The white gold probably does, though. Okay, yeah, that's the thing. None of these things actually need the cherry cordial, but... The frickin' white gold does. Grr. That frickin' cherry cordial. <sighs> Bane of my existence. All right, well. Didn't expect that to take so long when I accidentally backed out. Since I could use this for the upcoming fight. Rebus. Maybe I should go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. this. This is definitely probably the next one I want. As soon as you get more freaking cherry cordial. Alright. So we've made the potion. That was my 9 o'clock, 9.30 alarm. Don't mind that. Should I? Should I explore a little bit more in here? Make sure I know my entire surroundings before I try to have this fight. I mean, I'm sure it'll just take place in this area. Though, hmm, I wonder if there's somewhere else I could lure her where she doesn't have all this water to sink into. Oh, this just goes back here. Don't mind if I do. Oh, 
Would have been too much to ask for for some cherry cordial. Alright, well. Do I just take the potion and wait here? Let me make sure that's what it wants me to do. Yep, alright. Two doses of it. Oh! Oh, sweet! I didn't expect it to have an out of quest use. Drowners will not attack the Witcher. That's actually really nice for if you're gonna be like swimming. Heck yeah! Alright. Oh, but it also has toxicity. Not that much, at least. Alright, well, here we go. That should do it. Now for a place to hide and wait. Behind those boats. Yes, I'm sure that within 90 seconds she will decide I'm gone and come here. Oh, I'm a little nervous. This is going to be my first big fight in a while. And I am not exactly back into practice yet. We might lose a couple times. Does she not know I'm here yet? Oh, of course there are other drowners with her. Alright, I've got my black blood ready. Oh, but the drowners won't attack me. Okay, so much for the drowners not attacking me. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons, oh my gosh. Let's get us right on out of here, shall we? Uh, hit, hit that. There we go. Ow, ow. How did you get here? Alright, let's just do that. There we go. Uh, I tried to attack, dang it. Oh, all right, she's taking heavy damage. Oh, really? Come on, get in here. Get in here, I said. Well, oh, really? Screw you. Hooray for being overleveled. Not pretty. And she had a sword in her, somehow. Gosh, I can't get over how much that looks like the knife I have. And there we go. Oh, he really cleaves off their entire head and shoulders region, doesn't he? Alright. Not so bad. Oh wait, more dead things. Can't forget the dead things. Didn't end up using a lot of the things I intended to use, but... <laughs> In combat's fires and all that. What is that red thing on the minimap? Is there something here? Like, is that something to actually interact with? Or is it just this potential clue. It might just be this clue. That's probably what it is. It doesn't look like other clues on the map, but that's what I'm going to tell myself, because I don't want to sit here trying to figure it out. 
Go ahead and take another bite of something, something. Let's have these baked apples, why not? Though part of me wants to save them, just since we've saved them so long already. <laughs> oh, whatever. Raw meat, why not? Is there a different way to go? Wait, have I been this way? Or is this the way I came from? Which way did I come from? Huh. Oh, is that just to be a static drowner brain spawn so you can make the potion? I don't think I've been this way. Don't mind if I do. Not just a different way, I guess. Well, that would have been a much easier way in. If I would have just come to uh, this one instead of that one, <laughs> I could have still worn my armor then, too. Alright, well. I suppose let's go ahead and head back. Just coming around this way will probably be easier than having to swim through that cavern again. Can I just hop up over this? There we go. Alright. Look at us, big man on campus. Um, did, was I supposed to get something out of that? Or am I just not anymore because that was part of the quest? Should go back to that alchemist and see if he had Brionia. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a sack. I thought it was a rock. Hello, random chest. What goodies do you have? One single goodie. Or I suppose one single pair of goodies. Where was that other entrance? I ask primarily because I need to get back there to pick up the gear that I dropped off when I swam in. Don't judge me, I'm role-playing! Never mind that I'm not role-playing how he dragged all of that loot from those chests out with him <laughs> while swimming. I don't judge how you have fun. Was it down here? I think this is it, right? Yeah, this is it. Right, so let's go ahead and get us back on land here. And you have still those drowners down there. Assuming those are drowners, not sirens. Actually, those might be sirens. They look a little uh, serpentine. Alright, here we are. Let's get our shit back on. This does Arden Quinn. These are Erden. 
These are Axi. And I made the pants Igni? Guess so. Alright. I can't believe that there is not a blacksmith anywhere in Care Trolled. It's the frickin' Castle Fortress. I don't remember what he said about that. But it's the frickin' Castle Fortress of a frickin' Viking noble. And there's no blacksmith? Or anyone who can repair my gear? Well, didn't you just conveniently materialize? And without your tail and hair again. It's really weird when you do that, Roach. Oh gosh, I do not like the way her bare butt is staring at me. And wiggling. Please get your tail back soon. I do have my mixed feelings about the whole uh, leveling thing. Part of me does feel like it's kind of cheapening the experience for me to be able to beat the monsters so easily. But at the same time, well, Geralt is a badass with a whole lot of monster slaying experience. And also, if the game is going to throw enemies that are too strong for me at me, then it's only fair that I can also be too strong for them. Uh, more trouble. Roach, seriously, where is your hair? Slow now. How do I dismount again? Come on, Roach. That, oh, that is not how I dismount. There we go. Don't mind me. Can I can I talk to you now? Or is it this guy? No? Is it this guy? Here we go. Bjorg, of course. Job's done. Here's the proof. Now why would I want to see What the devil is that? Water hag. An old clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. Mores, lampreys, blobfish. Blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Heck yeah. I mean, I've got plenty of money at this point. Thanks. So long. Oh, that's a decent amount of experience. Also, I would love if it would show me how much money he was giving me before I decide if it was enough or not. Alright, so there's that. Why is there still a quest marker here? Oh, it's telling me to travel at the... the... fence... sign post, not fence post. That is not a fence. Alright, so... What all do we still have to do here? We can get rid of this now. Head back to this herbalist, see if he's got anything else for me. Maybe I can just sell things at the innkeep. Might not need to be a blacksmith. Needs to be a blacksmith to repair my shit, but... Does not need to be one just to sell things. So yep, we'll start with that. Go back to the innkeep. Then go put away this hag trophy in my stash, probably, because I'm guessing it just does the same thing as the grave hag trophy. What about Brionia? Would you like to buy something from this stash? Maybe. Let me see what you got. You probably don't have Brionia because I probably would have seen it and bought some before if you did, but let me just take a look. I kind of forget what it looks like. Oh wait, is this it? 
Ah, it is. Let me buy up all this. Yeah, baby. And you, of course, do not have Cherry Cordial. I can try the Inkeep, though I'm sure I've already tried that Inkeep. Uh, later. So long. Maybe I will go play cards with him. <laughs> After I've gotten if the uh, everything's settled in, taken care of all my business in this area and put all my shit away. Let him relax for the rest of the day before we set out to try to complete the rest of these quests. Yep, I believe that is the same thing as the Grave Hag. Alright, oh, I was going to put the Fiend away. But we've also got the Wraith for that. So yep, let's go ahead and apply this, and we can put those away. If you hear random squeaking or creaking noises, then that is the exercise ball that I am sitting on. I always told myself that when I got my own house I would uh, sit on exercise balls or walk on treadmills while I was playing games to keep myself in fit fighting shape while I game, because that's a thing that I do. and. Do I want to put these away? You know what, sure, I'll just put these away. Part of me wants to sell them because they're worth a decent amount, but maybe I'll prefer the way they look someday. Whoops. I am sure I have already said this at some point, but I am absolutely a video game hoarder. Like, that is 100% a problem that I have. Half of my carry weight in Skyrim was unused potions. I am one of those people. Alright, let's see. Oh, hey, they've all got names. Can I actually talk to them? Nope. Alright, mister. What do you got for me? Probably nothing I want. Greetings, welcome. Do I like it here? Let's start with this. Well, why not? Butter him up. Gotta say, I like the place. I should hope so. Found it a rune when I came here from Unvik. Gold shitting into the tankards through the gaps in the thatch. I bought the hut, rolled up my sleeves, and made a proper alehouse out of it. Why do you call it the new port? Continuity. Owned the old port on Unvik. Few may former customers come here evenings to reminisce about the old times. I appreciate that a lot, actually. Alright, uh, that is about an episode's worth of time. Let me just go ahead and what so do this uh, shopping on the end of the episode. Wait, could that be? Do my eyes deceive me? Oh, 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 it is. Oh, sweet and merciful Melitaly. Melitaly? Melitel? Melitaly? Sweet and merciful, however the hell you say your name. Oh, do mine eyes deceive me. Oh, I don't. Oh, I'm a little, whew, I'm a little, a little flushed. I'm sorry. I'm just, whew, I haven't, haven't been so excited in a while. That's expensive. Hot damn. That snapped me right back to reality, that did. Shoo. Well, I'm sure.
sure as hell gonna need them all eventually, so let's just bite the bullet. Ba bam. Mahakaman Spirit. Are these things I need? Alright, let's see. Mahakaman Spirit. Mandrake Cordial. Redanian Herbal. Let me check my uh, alchemy list and see if anything needs those. Oh, and actually, so I forgot I need to sell stuff to you too, if you'll take it. You will not take any of this. Cool. I'm actually starting to get pretty heavy. I need to find someone who will take this stuff. Thanks for sparing a moment. All right, let's see. If I didn't make it clear already, you can feel free to stop watching at this point if you want. I'm just continuing to record from this point on for anybody who is interested in the menu and crafting aspects. Um, so let's see. Well, let's start it all the way at the top, actually. Nope, nope. No, 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 no. Elf Guardian Lemon. Got plenty of that. Where do I actually get empty bottles? I thankfully just have a lot of them lying around, but I don't know where you actually get them. Dwarven Spirit needs Mahakaman Spirit. Doesn't seem like Dwarven Spirit is in very short supply, though. Oh, I am. Pretty low in this Redanian Herbal, too. And Mandrake Cordial. Okay. So the problem is just that Cherry Cordial is the rarest, but these are also needed. So, yep, I guess I'll buy up all those, too. Greetings! Welcome! What smells so delicious? So delicious. God, why are they so expensive? Sheesh! Holy cow, man! <sighs> well, I'm gonna need them eventually. These aren't so bad, at least. And should I bother with these? I feel like I run into no shortage of Dwarven Spirit. I think I'll leave these be. Thanks for sparing a moment. Alright, so now... Find me a nice, quiet little corner. Oh, this is the kitchen. I'm probably not supposed to be back here. Why is there a second whole hog <laughs> roasting back here? Oh. This is where they do the butchering, I suppose. Alright, well. Back here will do. It's even a convenient pot for me. Alright, so let's see. Oh, there's some of these I need, too. Oh, all these just need the proper mutagens. Increases critical hit damage when attacking from behind. Power grows over the course of a fight until reaching a maximum threshold. Any stamina is available. Strong decks consume all of it and reduce the stroke pose vitality by 5% after their normal damage is calculated. Huh. That seems pretty good. Each sign cast increases stamina regeneration for the remainder of the fight. Ooh, boy, I would love that. Cave Troll Liver and Rubido. Another Cave Troll Liver. Well, I gotta find me some Cave Trolls, I suppose. Alright, so. I need one Quibberth, one Vermilion, two Vermilion, and one. What's this one? Vitriol. Which means I need one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I need seven white gold. Fun. Hopefully I have enough for all of that. 
Looks like I have just enough. With one extra Everdanian herbal. Cherry cordial dreams do come true. Oh, right. And that's what we need. One quiverth. Sure takes its sweet time. One vitriol. Wait. Did it do it? Okay. So I've got to wait for it. Sure takes its sweet time. One vermilion. And another vermilion. Alright. Heck yeah, baby, let's do it. Give me that rapid decoction first. Immunity to damage for a short duration. Can we talk about that? Grants immunity to damage for a short duration. How does a potion do that? Does it just like... Does it just like make you heal so fast that damage you receive is a non-factor? Or does it like harden your skin or blood or something? Or make your blood so viscous that you can't, uh, that it, your skin can't be penetrated, or you can't bleed? Like, how, how could a potion make you immune to damage? Heck yeah, dude. Why don't we do a quick meditation while we're back here to get our potions and, uh, bombs restocked. And then, yeah, I think that'll be it for the episode. Ten minutes after it was supposed to end. Alright, I think I've got time for one or two more tonight. Oh, uh, shoot. One more tonight, so let's do that. And it'll probably be playing cards, I suppose.